So the events uh, of the last week, of this past week, um, have highlighted to us as a service the need for improvement in a number of areas. One, uh, in technology and infrastructure. Uh, in particular, that which helps us to identify uh, storms well in advance, their intensity uh, and their trajectory, and to be able to then improve our forecast on, on storms. We're clear that we are not able to do all of that at the moment, given uh, that we have technology challenges uh, around maintenance, old equipment, etc. You can safely say in very short, our technology, some of our technology failed us. Whilst the automatic weather stations, our automatic rain gauge networks, our upper air sounding stations and our lightning detection networks were fully functional during the storm, sadly, of the five radar systems that we required to be active and up, only one was fully functional and the second, which was available, had regular transmission faults. We also are faced with increasingly unusual phenomena uh, in South Africa, including tornadoes, and therefore our ability and our team's ability to forecast these accurately uh, is of paramount importance. While some of these hazards are predictable well in advance, for example, Tropical cyclone Dine. Others, such as this week's severe thunderstorms, while predictable in advance as severe weather systems, their rapid evolution and thus the lead time accessible to issue warnings is very limited. So, what are the lessons learned for the weather service? We issued the warnings in time and our forecasting system did well. Second is our critical infrastructure for disaster risk reduction and improved analysis of storms failed us when it was required the most. Whilst we did send our weather watch and severe weather warnings, these were directed at our primary first level users, some media partners and the private sector clients. The key, the vast majority of ordinary citizens did not receive this critical life and livelihood saving information. We are a technical, we're a scientific, and we're a service oriented entity of the state with the responsibility to reach 57 million South Africans every day. The events of this week and past events are a stark reminder not only for the weather service, but for the country, that I think we need to step up our spend on early warning systems. The initiatives I've just mentioned require in the order of 30 million rand speedy if we were to accelerate them before the end of the summer. Others might not require monetary uh, value, but require active partnerships that are willing to work with us and you will find the weather service ready to work with those that are willing to enable us to ensure that this life-critical information reaches everyone that it needs to reach.